how's it going? So we're out here in Squamish on the Squamish River trying to get some product shots for CND. We're in the process of building the North American CND website. Now we need a banner photo, uh, something that features the rod close up logo um, and or maybe a fishing casting type shot. Um, but I'm out here just to scout. Uh, so I thought I'd film some casting and film uh, some of the behind the scenes as to how I you know, go about the process of trying to get these photos. Uh, usually it starts with just some really simple close-up shots and then it kind of moves into, um, you know, whatever else we feel uh, uh, is uh, complementary to the brand. So right here what I'm doing is I'm trying to avoid some of this glare on the rod and I want to get like a very close-up, probably 35 millimeter shot of just the logo. And ideally I have uh, these beautiful mountains in the background, um, but I'm getting, you know, front light and I'm casting a shadow to my left. So I'm being careful that I don't uh, shadow the photo, um, but I'm also getting a lot of glare from the sun that's kind of beaming in. So I think I'm gonna have to flip around and shoot the other direction. Um, but I really like having those mountains as a blurred out background. Uh, that's kind of, uh, you know, what really sets the tone as to like how or I mean, I guess where this location is. Um, so I'm just gonna get super low using a wide angle lens. I have a polarizer and I'm just looking at the, the logo to see if uh, when I go to my left, I see there's lots of glare on it. When I move to my right and just angle a little bit, I don't get the glare. So I'm trying to get that sharp focus on the, on the, uh, logo without the glare and without my shadow it's turning to be quite quite difficult actually and i need that horizontal because there we go horizontal because that's what's gonna show best on a website um, but I also need that same photo to have maybe the logo in the center so that when we have a phone uh, and we have the banner photo it actually doesn't have nothing in it essentially like if I place everything to the left side then of course when we use the center of the photo for like a, an iPhone you wouldn't have the logo. So we need to have the logo centered. Like this. And I'm using a polarizer. I'm using a polarizer to help with the glare and also just saturate the colors naturally. So not, not the easiest shot to get. Um, but I mean, it's beautiful. I had that same, had that mountain, the peak there, uh, completely visible for a while, but now it's kind of hidden in the clouds. Basically what I'm doing now for the second CND shot is I'm trying to get a self portrait of myself with the, the bigger camera, the DSLR with the wide angle lens, polarizer and a six stop ND. So it's a slower exposure. I'm gonna go stand up into that spot, into that current seam I'm um, in the riffle here and try to get that shot of me standing there looking like I'm going to fish. Um, I'm going to trigger the camera with a remote release um, and hope for the best. Hopefully it will reach and get a couple of photos. Um, yeah, it's a bit of a <laughs> bit of a gamble, but we'll see. Uh, so I got the, the one 
tripod in the water, really low, wide angle shot. And then I have my filming camera behind me, behind this camera, uh, just kind of documenting what I'm doing. So I'm gonna walk up and uh, get myself sorted, see if this will work. Okay, so it should be every 10 seconds. Let's see. Yep. So every 10 seconds it's taking a shot now. So that's probably going to be the better option. Go. So I got into this zone. Of course, now the sun's back out. <laughs> so it's going to be probably blown out. But we'll see. I honestly cannot tell. I cannot tell, so. It's really hard to know, but now we're getting rain, so I'm gonna have to probably pack up. And that kind of gives you an idea as to like how hard some of these shots are. Um, so I'm gonna probably just continue to try to get these shots. Uh, in the rain because it looks like the lights pretty good but I'm gonna stop recording on the video camera because it's probably not gonna take the abuse the Nikon DSLR will um, so yeah there you go so that's uh if I wrap it up now that's <laughs> that was the shoot so we got a couple of shots a um, couple of casts and it was a beautiful day and uh, if I don't wrap it up now and I try to get more video then you'll see that after but um, thanks for tuning in. Uh, yeah, just like and, and subscribe. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. See you later.